Hey guys, uh, Bunny Biscuits here. Um, this uh, video, well, I've actually I've been getting some messages um, about the Pokemon Yellow playthrough. If you guys remember that, um, I'm just gonna talk about that for a little bit. Uh, Pokemon Yellow, that was a side project, you know, because um, I was bored over at my mom's house. Well, I mean, at my dad's house. I was doing everything at my mom's house. But at my dad's house, I wasn't doing anything. And I decided um, I decided I was going to do something because I was so bored. And so Pokemon Yellow came up. That was from the Karius. The Karius, like dysfunctional, if you remember... Well, he's not even done yet. He, I, <laughs> geez, everybody's going so late. They're being jerks. Uh, the Karius, he, was, he did, like, Pokemon Blue. And then he had... Um, Para, I think he was doing Pokemon Red, and then some other dude, like, a Pokemon Nerd, something, you know, I, I don't remember, I, I, I talked about this earlier, but I didn't know, um, I, I got the idea from that, um, and that's how kind of Pokemon Yellow came in, you know, they weren't doing any, any, nobody was doing Pokemon Yellow, so I decided to do Pokemon Yellow, and then that came up. Now, I got some messages that saying, oh man, this is so cool, and then they're like, wait a second, how do you, uh, how do you play, the, I mean, how do you make these movies, you know, I want to know, that's what this video is for, alright, I'm going to, I'm going to help you guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, alright, now what you're going to need to make these movies, you're going to need, um, a Visual Boy Advance, now what that is, it's a Game Boy emulator, and what a Game Boy emulator is, if I'm not getting too confusing, that is a, um, a Game Boy emulator. That's, um, it's the same e e emulator. It's the same thing as a Game Boy, except for playing it on the computer. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a link for Visual Boy Advance. Um, and then you're, you're gonna need a Game Boy ROM, whether it be Pokemon Yellow or Pokemon something or Metroid or anything that you want to record or make movies of you get a ROM of that. Now I don't know the exact location I, I don't know it at the top of my head but I'll look for some locations for you guys and I'll put all this in my description I'll put the Visual Boy Advance link in the description the ROM links in the description anything I can scrap up I'll get that alright so now um, once you get your Visual Boy Advance you open it up um, alright, now we got the Visual Boy Advance. Um, now you open up your ROM, whenever you downloaded that, you open it, I've been, I've been playing Shiny Gold, <laughs> it's actually pretty fun, I just wish it was over, like, like, the, it was actually completed, I just wish that. Alright, um, so now I got that, I don't know why the audio isn't working right now, but I, I don't care about that right now. Now, um, to record, that, that's, um, that's kind of answers some questions, you know, about the emulator thing. Like, um, how do you get like a perfect frame for frame thing? You're like, how do you are you recording like with a camcorder on a on a Pokemon like a Game Boy Advance? No, I'm not doing that. I'm I'm recording everything on the computer. Now, how do you record the emulator? I did it differently. Now, I want um, so, but I'm going to teach you guys a better way to do it. Now that I think of it. Um, what you should do in your Visual Boy Advance, go to Tools, go down here, go to Record, and then right here, Start AVR Recording, alright? That's going to record the visual and the audio of the emulator, alright? This is just for the sound, this is just for the movie, this is for both. You want this, alright? Um, so now we're going to get out here, back to the emulator. Um, so now, now, uh, the audio, I'll, I'll try to be as clear as, as I can with that. The audio, it's only recording the audio in the Visual Boy Advance, alright? If you, if you say something while you're recording the AVI, it's not gonna pick that up, but alright? It's only gonna pick up this. Alright, now, now to get your, to get your, um, voice, like if you wanna narrate it, Alright, for, for Vista users, I would recommend using Sound Recorder. Go to All Programs, Accessories, Sound Recorder. Alright, now, um, and then your voice will be picked up here. Alright, then you'll, and I'm not sure if it'll record the Visual Boy Advance audio, but if, if, 
um, if it does, then you just have to synchronize it in your video editing program. All right, now for video editing program. Now that was th that sound recorder thing. I think that only works for Vista users. I'm gonna show you guys a better way if you're using XP. If you're just using Windows XP, I'll show you guys a better way. On XP, you should have Windows Movie Maker. All right, if you have if um. If you have Windows 8 or anything lower than that, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, but um, for those with Windows XP and Vista, if you have Windows Movie Maker, then you use that. All right, now, wherever you saved your um, Visual Boy Advance thing and your um, audio from the sound recorder, if you were using... All right, hold on. If you're using Windows XP and you want to get your voice into, if you want to get your voice into the movie or whatever you're doing, then you have to go. Sorry, you have to narrate it. You have to go to the narrate timeline. What this does, it um, it records your voice. Once you press start narration, it's going to record your voice on your microphone or computer mic or whatever. All right, just just to just test that out to make sure. If you're using Vista, then um, now th for XP users, once you're done narrating it, then it'll automatically appear on audio and music. So there, you got that. It's gonna go back to timeline. Uh, now Im import media for Vista users. You import the sound recording and the Visual Boy Advance thing. For XP users, you're just going to import the Visual Boy Advance recording. Alright, once you got that imported, you put it onto video here, and then you synchronize it up, and you add text, and once you got it all ready, then you go to File, and then you go, you save project as, and then you publish movie. Alright, that's going to turn it into a movie file, and then you go to YouTube, and then you go to and then you upload, and then you do all that, and then you have you have a video. That's how, that's how you do it. All right. So for those users who are wondering how I did this, that's how I did it. If you want to do it, go ahead. You know that's kind of why I made this video. So for that, that that's how I do that. Um, I'll put the links in the description. Don't forget that. And um, also, I'll be doing videos for uh, Halo. How I make my Halo movies and for Pokemon Diamond, how I make my Pokemon Diamond videos, alright, I'll, I'll make videos on how to do those, alright, so, um, I'll see you guys soon, um, and yeah, alright, see you guys.